to my new year's new goals um it's all about resetting and starting the new year fresh so i can't wait to share the last video of 2021 with you today welcome to roots and knuckles this is the last video i'll be doing for 2021 wow what an amazing year better than 2020 Let's be positive here, okay? <laughs> this year, I am just very thankful that all my family and friends were all very healthy. Um, definitely better than 20, 2020, but we still have, it's still an uphill battle. Um, we're still in the whole COVID situation. Hopefully 2022 will be a lot better. And um, I have learned so much this year. Um, Seriously, I have learned so much about editing, um, creating content, writing, blogging. Tell you the truth, financially, we haven't made much money, um, but I love doing what I'm doing right now. I'm so passionate about it. I still remember when um, I made like $16 on Etsy and I was just like, oh my God, I was so like just, like super happy I, I remember running to my sister my little sister Monica and I'm like guess what I made $16 on Etsy um, and it's just an amazing feeling that someone wants to buy something that you have created and that you know that you're making a difference in someone's life using these platforms to share my lifestyle and what I do with my family my kids and inspire moms to have a healthy happy and a balanced lifestyle. This is what, this is literally what I'm meant to do. And I am so happy that I have, uh, have the opportunity to do it. So today I'm gonna share with you a couple of my goals that maybe you guys can check it out and see, you know, something that aligns, you know, maybe your goals this coming year, just to give you a little idea. Cause you know, we're all different, but it's just nice to share with you my 2022 goals. Number one, goal this year is definitely keep learning um you never stop learning you never know everything so i'm just gonna keep learning and i have learned so much uh through this whole with this technology <laughs> it's like i've learned how to create so many you know like design i designed my own my own blog i created my own website um i I learned how to edit videos. I've learned how to do all these things with videos, adding all these plugins and and music and everything. And you know, writing again. It's like it's pretty pretty refreshing. Number two is definitely self care. Um, I am a I am seriously like a walking billboard. I'm always talking about self-care, taking care of yourself, with my friends, with my sisters, with my family. I always talk about this. And um, I sometimes forget, you know, when you're overwhelmed and when you're in this like, you know, you're, you're surviving and you're just trying to get everything done, like you forget and you go through this, this like transition, like this time and you're just not taking care of yourself. I'm gonna make it a priority this year to take care of myself because what I've noticed is that when I take care of myself, I take way great greater care of my own family, of my mom, of my mother-in-law, my husband, my kids, and I become more patient. And self-care can be anything. It could be just taking a walk. It could be taking a little bath time, you know, just like letting your husband take care of the kids while you are in the bathtub listening to very zen music and just lighting a candle and just having that quiet time it can be anything so this year i'm gonna make it a priority to take care of myself and i know that that makes me a better mom be <laughs> my ultimate favorite in which i i think this is like everyone's goals year after year and there's no pressure to look fit but for me it's not about staying fit it's my, for me it's all about health so um, I want to look good, not gonna lie. I mean, come on, come on people. Yes, you want to look good, right? Yes, so, but I want to look good. I want to feel good. So this year, number three is definitely workout consistently. 
I'm gonna have a consistent, you've gotta be consistent. So, people, I am starting a January challenge, okay? January workout challenge, 30 days, and I have a calendar that I created myself. I linked all my favorite, uh, you know, workout influencer or a fitness influencer like Caroline, Gervin, um, and we have Sydney, we have um, Pamela, we have Heather Robertson, um, and we just have some of these, and oh my God, yoga with Adrian, which my mom loves. Um, and we have all these amazing influencers that they put their video and their hard work online for free, for free. You just gotta do it. Um, so I am doing a challenge in January. Make sure to follow me. You can download it on my website and you're gonna love it. It's, it's literally a calendar and it tells you what it is and it links, you click it and it links right to their video. So for me, exercising as a mom, 30 minute can be a lot sometimes because just getting your butt up out of bed and doing that 30 minute can sound very daunting. So I have found that 20 minute, it's like a sweet, sweet spot. You get that sweat in and it, it works you out, but at the same time, it's only 20 minutes. It's kind of like, oh, 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 you're done. So 20 minutes is a sweet spot. This January challenge, it's all about staying consistent and it's just 20 minutes a day. Some days you can just go on a walk for 20 minutes because it's kind of like a rest, low impact day. You could do 20 minute yoga with Adrian. You could do 20 minute Pilates, whatever. And it's gonna be so fun because I feel like when you're doing it with like everybody and then you have all these support and we have accountability buddies, it's just a different ball game. So I'm gonna have this and I just hop on Instagram, tag me when you're doing it and let's do it together. Um, and it's gonna be so fun. Make sure to tag me and join this challenge. And if you, if you don't do it for a day, it's okay. Hop right back into it. Don't give up. It's okay, things come up and we all know that. Kids get sick, it's the winter, whatever. But you know what? Try your best. Download it on your phone, have it pop up. All you have to do is link it to that video that day and that's it. And there's actually a little box where you can actually check it if you wanna print it out and just check it. Like I love checking things, like checking the box so you did it that day. Number four, it's definitely waking up early. Um, if number one for a lot of people is working out <laughs> number two has to be waking up early like for some especially now with people working from home it's probably even harder for people to wake up early um because it's so cold and you just want to snuggle in bed and it's a winter and you kind of want that little winter weight because it's like so cold outside okay no new year you gotta wake up early i have a blog post about it um i'm gonna do a video later about how to wake up early and um I'm like an energized bunny. Like I love waking up early because waking up early means I get a long time to myself. So that's when I do that 20 minute workout. That's when I do that little meditation. And that's when I have that cup of coffee with no interruption. Everything you want as a mom is a little quiet time. So yes, waking up early is definitely worth it. And it makes you so zen in the morning, um, having that time to yourself. So waking up early, guys. Number five, um, actually eating healthy. Um, we, uh, we actually already mastered that, but I think that this year I'm gonna definitely um, make more of an effort to plan everything out to the core so that we can even be uh, more uh, healthy. Um, but you know, like I said, by no means, we don't eat salads every day. It's just our choices of food is always whole foods. Uh, we, we, you know, we grow our own vegetables. We have our own chickens and eggs and stuff like that. Um, it's, just not pro it's just not possible to eliminate processed food because everything is processed. But I have, um, made uh, a lot of changes with eating a lot more quinoa, uh, barley, a lot of beans, like kidney beans, or like black eyed, black eyed peas and lentils and that kind of stuff incorporate into our, um, into our meals. So I'm gonna share a lot of recipe later on. Number six, oh my God, drinking water. It's like a constant battle. As a mom, 
Um, I feel like I have I have to like create some kind of like maybe I could create like a product like where you can just like have a thing where I can just have a water bottle on me all the time. But as a mom, you always forget to drink water. Um, because your priority is your kids. You're always doing something. You sometimes you forget to drink water. So um, I make it a priority to drink lots of water, but there's always days where I forget and I'm just, you know, I'm kind of on this like mode where I'm just like working, 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 and I'm editing, I'm editing, editing, and I forget to drink water. So very important this year, I'm gonna be so hydrated. You got my word, okay? Number seven, having a good night rest. And I'm gonna start sleeping a little earlier. Um, lately, because of the holidays and the Thanksgiving, I've been sleeping a little bit later. So in the morning, you can wake up tired. You don't wanna wake up early. So I'm gonna make it a goal um, to, keep wake, to keep going to sleep a little earlier. Um, 10.30 is kind of my sweet spot. I love going to sleep at 10.30 and I wake up around 5.30, 6 o'clock feeling refreshed. So that's like kind of like my sweet spot. There's, there's a sweet spot for everybody. Some people need a little bit more hours than the other. Some people only need like four hours. But for me, I kind of need that seven. So yes. Number eight is going outdoors enjoying the weather enjoying nature and taking my kids out more um on road trips uh, this is kind of what we have planned this year we're going to do a lot more of that um it just made it really hard this past year um because me and doug are kind of all we're both very busy um in the prime right now in our business and we're kind of learning so much i mean he's in the restaurant business and i'm learning so much about the blogging and the youtube and everything and um so this this coming year, we're gonna focus more on going out, taking more road trips, and going more outdoors and seeing more things, taking our kids explore. Number nine, um, I don't know if I talk about this enough, but um, meditating uh, literally um, really helped me um, through through COVID. Sometimes I I ask myself, I'm like. Like this past, you know, winter vacation, I'm kind of like, wow, that was crazy. I don't know how I did it during COVID with my kids home every day and you have all these things and they're always asking for things and my kids are so young right now. Um, so they're always asking, mom, I want this, mom, I want this. And you just have this like overwhelming um, mind, mind sometimes. So when I, during COVID, I did a lot of meditating in the morning and wow, what a game changer your mindset and and that kind of resetting your mind and having that fresh mind in the morning after meditating and kind of like it's kind of like exercising you're exercising your body when you exercise physically but when you're meditating it's kind of like exercising your mind and your brain so you literally feel refreshed and reset so if you haven't tried meditating make sure to try it i use the calm app or you can actually just go to headspace app or you can just go to YouTube. There's a bunch of meditating um, uh, videos that people do. Just try it. Give it a try. Five minutes a day and then go to 10 minutes. So this is what I want to do. I want to start meditating consistently more um, to just release all these things that's jumbled up in my mind all the time, all these ideas and just kind of give myself a little break and refresh. So number 10. I was never a read a lot of books kind of person, <laughs> but um, ever since I signed up for Audible, which is this um, is this this uh, app where it just you know you can just pay like a subscription and then you can pick a book and then you can just listen to it. And um, I have been doing a lot. Like I read probably around eight books last uh, this year, 2021, because of Audible. Um, because we don't have time to read in the morning or nighttime or anything. When I read at night, I fall asleep like after one page. So with your kids that young, it's hard to make time for yourself to read. So I do Audible, which I listen to it. Um, I listen to it in the car sometimes when I'm driving the kids to school or learn so much from these books that I'm reading. And you can find some of my favorite books on the description below um, that I swear by and I love. So reading one book a month will be my goal for 2022. I'm gonna read even more books than I did 2021. So 
Number 11, um, I felt like, you know, this year we have spent so much time with my family and my mom and my, my sisters and everybody because we had our own little pod. Um, but I'm gonna make it a aggressive effort. I'm gonna spend more time with my friends. I felt like I kind of lost that time with them the two years. And we did have this, you know, we, we did go out uh, this one time and I just felt, it just felt so nice to be back with like my friends, my girlfriends from college and just spending that quality time and, you know, just hanging out and just talking about life. And, you know, we're all, a lot of, our, a lot of us are mothers. So a lot of times we share our experiences and, you know, things and we kind of, it's kind of like our own little mommy group. and. And we have known each other for so long. We have all known each other for over 20 years. So I'm gonna make it an effort, even driving far, flying to see my friend in Texas. I'm gonna just make it an effort and we're gonna plan um, to just spend more time together. And you know, we won't let time pass us by again like we did the past two years. So fun, last video of 2021. Um, man, you guys, you know, it's amazing. I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that has subscribed to my channel and that have watched my videos um, this past year. Um, I promised you that I am going to keep learning. I'm going to keep being better about editing, about being on camera, about all the things that, all the content I write, all the content that I produce. Like, I love this. I love doing this. It is so amazing for me. And, um, you know, finding this little career path uh, for myself, it's it's very, very fulfilling. And I just love that I can just, you know, do this for a living. And thank you so much, everyone. Um, I hope that, you know, everybody have a healthy and happy and amazing 2022. I am so blessed to have everyone support and for you guys to watch this to the end and to love me for who i am and it's just i just want to say thank you so i am gonna keep bringing that bringing myself to you i promise you i'm gonna keep bringing everything that i am as a person um i'm gonna start keep giving you who i am i i this is who I am. I'm, you know, and I love that I can be myself in front of you guys, which is so great. Um, so 2022, I have tons of stuff planned. It's like so crazy. I have so many things that I have already written that it's going to be coming out. I'm going to start. I don't know what you guys going to think is cool, but you know, 2022, I'm going to start my own little youtube live and that youtube first youtube live is coming out this sunday january 2nd i am gonna have a, a youtube live um every sunday this sunday is gonna be a little q a uh i'm gonna have something different every sunday um you know sometimes be like breakfast breakfast with me you know mommy talk um it'll be like something about working out i don't know it could be anything it's gonna be so fun it's just gonna be like me and you and i'm gonna you guys can ask me any questions how i take care of my family how i clean the house whatever um so thank you so much you guys happy new year have a safe new year be safe out there all right bye guys thank you so much Mwah. take care